Hey guys, so today is just kind of uh, watch me do random drawings and paintings while I talk to you about art. So, um, so art, everyone just says it's a concept, and the reason most people nowadays appreciate artists that have passed away is because no one's able to interpret their artwork and appreciate it while they're alive because while they're alive there are so many people it's a competitive world it's a competitive business and when you think about it um you kind of realize that because no one liked like van gogh or van gogh's work they all just thought it was horrible and useless but then when he passed away like everyone realized that his style was so unique and so out there and he saw a beauty in the world that not many did and the way he captured it it really makes people think about life so when people do like art nowadays they mainly just try and make it look pretty or they make it too abstract like that time someone just stuck a banana to a wall with duct tape or when someone like woke up in their bed and like put pizza on the end and then just sold that for thousands of pounds so it's like, no one really understands the concept of art because it's so broad but so limited at the same time. And I think that's probably why the art world is so vast and confusing. Because no one ever really understands what's going on and what's happening. And you could work your whole life towards trying to better yourself at art. You could literally... <laughs> do what I do and from the moment you could you would draw or paint and just not stop until you know you had to do work for school or something and then just pick it up straight after you finish and in cases like that what you find is although you're like continuously trying to better yourself be a better artist be a better person you'll find that not all the time you like your work, in fact most of the time you actually despise it, because what no one tells you is when you began this journey, you kind of began a journey of becoming a perfectionist towards your own artwork. You'll look at everyone else's artwork, including abstract stuff that really shouldn't be considered like proper art, and you'll say, wow, it's so amazing. And then you'll look at your art, and your art could be amazing to so many people. But then all you'll see is your own critique, or critique that you've had from people that shouldn't really have a voice in your world. Because all they do is give you negative impact that's not useful at all in bettering your art. And I think that's just really sad. Because everyone should be inclusive, and loving, and supportive especially in harsh business areas like art and everyone should learn to love their own art even if no one else does so even though you spend hours on a piece and it comes out and like there's aspects you don't like you have to look at the like the good sections the bits that are actual quality at work and think I'm really proud of this, I spent so long doing it, so much time and effort, and even though not all of it's perfect, it's perfect to me. You've just got to accept that that's your style, or that's how you draw something or paint something, and you've got to kind of just go with the flow, and love yourself, and love the things you make, even if no one else does. Because sooner or later, someone will come across your work, and they'll absolutely adore it. And no matter what you thought at that point, later in the future, you could grow to love that individual piece of work. Because you look back and you realise how far you came, like, from the beginning to that point. And it just makes you realise how happy you can be with everything you've done.
and how all the time and effort was worth it. But the journey will never be over because you'll never stop exploring, experimenting, discovering. You'll never stop being a perfectionist. You'll always want to have a drive and keep going, perfect the last thing you did, recreate old characters or old pieces, move forward and make new compositions. You'll never be over with the journey you started. And all you've got to keep in mind is that you have to love what you've done. No one can tell you it's wrong, but no one can tell you it's right either. Because it's so controversial and abstract that nothing really fits into the box. Art's about being outside of the box. Nothing's set in motion, everything goes at its own pace in its own way. You could start off with drawing and some people would go straight to anatomy, some people would go to shapes, some people would just discard that and start doing the actual full on detail. No one has a set course, everyone has their own way of doing things and we've got to keep that in mind when working. And that's just how life is. You never know what's going to happen, you never know where you're going or how long you'll be on this journey. but. You just have a drive to try and succeed in what you believe in and what you love. And hopefully that's good enough. The main problem with everything today is everyone just hates and they don't love and accept. Which is why everyone just kind of starts feeling sad and sorry for themselves. And no one really loves or appreciates what they do anymore. And when they do, they're critiqued for it. And no one really appreciates everything they've gone through to how they've got there. Everyone just tries to make your success your downfall. Make everything you've done not worth it. Make it seem like all the struggles you've been through were for nothing because you won't amount to anything. However, you can. And that's the thing that people need to understand more as well. Just what's driven you and you know just the success you've gone for even the small bits they will amount to something in the end they'll help you understand and just discover who you are and what your goal is i'm aware this probably sounds like an existential crisis but it's not these are just like random thoughts i had while I'm drowning in coursework at the university. Um, but I just want you guys to know that life isn't gonna be easy, especially if you're trying to make it in the art world or just any competitive business. Everything's always got its downfalls and its upfall or climbs, I guess. <laughs> but no matter what, you've just got to appreciate how you're getting there. Even when you're super stressed and you've got like thousands of work, like assignments or whatever to do and you're running out of time, you just need to kind of take a step back and disassociate yourself from all of that to take a breath and admire how far you've come from the beginning and how much you've got to do, but how you'll get there. You've got to believe in yourself and you've just got to have a great time enjoy everything you're doing and try and make it seem like it's the best time of your life even if it's the worst you just kind of need to try and break free of it all and think it doesn't matter too much if i don't get all this work done even if it does matter like a whole lot and you could like <laughs> lose everything you just need to kind of think in a different mindset and think it won't matter too much I can always try and improve on this, I can always do better. There's always another chance somewhere else. It isn't set in stone, everything can change. Life, it's just like a liquid, it can go in any direction. It's not solid, it's not fixed, it can just move around, it can change its path. The current can go in all different directions. For all you know, you could wake up tomorrow and it's the apocalypse. In this case, it kind of is. <laughs> but you've just got to kind of figure things out and not let everything stress you out or bug you 
you've got to make everything count to the fullest. You can't have anything put you down or make you feel sad. Like, right now, I've got so much work to do. I've got six 2,000 word assignments to do. We have six essays of 2,000 words to do as well. And then I've got to read around 38 or more books all within five weeks. And on top of that, I've got lectures and all different things to do. And I've got to make a CV and apply for jobs. It's like, there's so much workload and so much stress in my direction. But you kind of just have to leave it all behind or take a step back. Just take a minute to yourself. Even if it's just five seconds, just take a deep breath and try and relax. You need to just breathe. You can't let everything overwhelm you and crush your, like, dreams or make you back into a corner and cry. You have to have, like, motivation and pursue all the things you want. Even if you feel like you can't, you can. You just need to try. And it doesn't matter if you fail, because you can always try again. There will always be ways... For you to do things you want and I just want you guys to know that it's okay if you fail because you can always just keep going you like you might even not do the things you want but you could always do them as a hobby or something you could always reinvent yourself and change and adapt to grow just explore new things nothing's got to be the way it is now everything can change and i hope you guys are all okay and aren't in a bad place